previously on Bandit of the Mind. You lick the blood, right? Tastes kind of yummy. Yeah, fact, something was calling me to it. It tastes like the most delicious thing you've ever had. I guess I it's, I try to devour him if that's what that's what is happening. Gold is bugging out. That's the one. <laughs> you go in for the bite, and as you you land to to bite him, you you bite early and you give him a good old kiss on the lips. Okay. Hello. You hear the sound of what sounds like something, you know, crunching open, and an eyeball moves slightly and looks up at you from right here. Uh, hey! I know you! Untucked underneath one of its fucking tentacles is a very familiar mirror. I knew it! Where will you be going? <laughs> Let's just go somewhere safe, guys! So, if I attempt to hide... What did like, you roll? Flappers, 26, baby! Wow! She got it. That's amazing. <laughs> you actually did it, D. Plus 15, dude? You shitting me? Are you kidding me right fucking now? That's what the modifier was? Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Plus Ethan. 15 and she still fucking got it. Hey, guys, come on. Are you even old? How old are you, Evan? On? <laughs> it is Sunday. I'm 19. I can't drink. And even if I could, I wouldn't. Well, today you're going to put some hair on your chest. And he grabs Evan on over <laughs> them, just drags him to the bar, walks with him like this. Oh, okay, awesome. By the way, the drinking age in Eternity is 18, so... <laughs> that went... Oof, that went down pretty smooth, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you purify it, and now it just tastes fucking nasty. Well, yeah, I figured. I was like, like <laughs> absolutely... To surviving. And then, um, if, um, as... Well, we're drinking, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I slide of hand, uh, purify food and water, and to get rid of the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> and this as, isn't as you look outside, the green portal, of what looks similar to when the Feywild opened up for you, appears, and these appear in it. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to another D&D &D session. Uh, I've got everybody here once again. Except one person slightly out of place, but we fixed that. Boom. Everybody's good. Okay. <laughs> Nothing is bad. Welcome to another session of Bandit of the Mind. We fixed our overlay. It's not gone to shit again. And uh, we're on session 19. We're one away from session 20. So that's pretty huge, y'all. Oh, and the sound alerts are still on. <laughs> I'm going to turn that off real quick. Sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I have to turn off sound alerts for this sort of thing. Okay. Uh, but other than that, we're going to just hop right into the session here. I'm going to queue up the music. If you were here for the stream earlier today, you you saw me look for the music. And we've got some, some bangers. Oh, okay. And music's queuing up. All right, so we leave off right where, well, we start right where we left off. You guys just saw these monsters appear from a what seems to be a green portal, and it's staring you down as they make weird sounds. As they look around into this new space that they've never seen before. And you are free to do as you like. Oh my god, what was that? Whoa. Uh, uh, Mo, it's you. Don't talk. Well, it ain't a Bandit of the Mind session without the worst possible things going wrong all the time. <laughs> we can hear you, we can hear you. Alright. Sorry, there was, uh, sorry, there was some tequila in my throat. <laughs> <laughs> Are we, in, are we in combat right now? Mm, not yet. What happened outside? God. God damn it. We can't catch a single day break, can we? Tell me <sighs> uh, I guess I will start heading towards the door as being the front man. That is essentially what I'd be doing. Wait, 
Wait, don't go by yourself. Um, and I start following. Yeah, I'm gonna follow by kind too. Contour? Mm. Any idea? All right. <laughs> no, all right, are you okay? Yes, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just ahead right now. Uh, yeah, I've never seen anything like this in any of yeah, the wisdom. Perfect. Yeah, good luck, guys. I'm gonna just sit in my shell. And his head goes back in. I don't fight, you oh, know. Great. Can I go ahead and ask? I turn around to like the rest of the bar and ask, does anybody know? Does anybody know any of the things that are outside right now? No, we might as well all just die, but I'll drink to that. And he pulls he pulls out his uh his his empty glass of water. I uh, I'll, I'll turn around back at the bar and say, anybody not looking for a fight better duck under a table now. And I'll turn back around and stare these things down, see and watch their movements. Fasha will move uh, here, but just watch. This this gonna... little Nomeo lip tuck lip yeah lip tuck runs off and hides underneath the the piano. Dolores pulls out a big looking thing with a with a pipe at the end of it. Nice. Here go. we go again. Again? <laughs> it's always new people bringing in new troubles. I go up to Elbert and I'll be, I, I will say, do you think this was for us? It's always for us. We can can we see them or is this like the only side of you? Um, what if they were? Is there like windows or anything? No, there's windows here and here, so you can see. Okay, it. okay. Those I mean, things are so ugly. What if they just want to drink, right? I don't think so. Give me a guess and offer them something. Yeah. Like, what do you want? I did have uh, that same idea. As you can see from behind it, there is. Uh, you know, this green energy. Uh, I don't know why it disappeared, but there's green energy. Uh, what looks like similar portal that you guys entered when you entered the Feywild. Wait, that color seems familiar. Yeah, it does. I think it is ours. <laughs> Do they look... What like when they talk? Do they look hostile? What the fuck? What are we looking at here? They look do valid. they look hostile? They look scary as shit. Uh, I know that much, but uh, like, uh, in terms of what how they talk, those flaps that you see at the top of their what you would assume to be the head flap every time they talk. So it's really hard to get a read on these guys, you know. Okay. DM, I just got into map tools. Could you put me with everybody? Of else? course, of course. Also, you're free to do insight checks, whatever you'd like. Uh, for more um, information, that's just the information I can give you based off of what your character sees. I see. Hey, Dolores! Mm. Yes. Is there a way to get on the, on the roof from the back? What a good idea. You want to get on my roof? I mean, if you want us to help you, you know, make sure the, the, the piece is kept. Help me! It's your problem, little thing. Take it outside. I mean, the roof is outside, right? If you damage my bar, I'm gonna shove this thing so far up your ass, okay, you're gonna okay. wish you never spoke to me! Little I'm shit. I'm ready to do. <laughs> Okay, well, is this like a there or something? Can hmm? what'd you say? There are like windows here. Window. So you see these like kind of brown ones that are different than the rest. These long ones are windows. Uh, those are not windows. Just the long ones. Can I make an insight check to see if they're looking for something? If they're looking in a general direction, like are they planning mm -hmm. on going yeah, in? Yep. You can make an insight check. Yeah. Uh, ability? Uh, that's a skill check. Yeah, yeah skill check yeah. and then insight. Cool. Uh, skill check. Insight. Got an 18. A 19, a 19 minus 1. Why which, am I the one checking? Which one are you looking at? Uh, I'm looking at the artist. He has advantage. A, you a, uh, a, I think I already rolled, so it's too late. 
Yeah. Um, but which one are you looking, looking at? This one. The, the one, one that's going. Yeah. yeah. The one that's talking the most. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, as you see it moving around, it looks scared almost in its movements, confused. Um, and let's see, with what you're able to, I guess, what knowledge you're able to gain from all this, it's just that this thing, this ugly ass looking thing right now, just has no clue where it's at. So, it, uh, okay. They, they, they look lost. They look, they, I don't think they're here to fight. So then can, uh, from that, can we tell whether or not, never mind, that makes sense. Okay, cool. So Sorry. I was going to run to here and just look out the window. Like, poke her little head out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, as she pokes her little head out, this and then it stops. And its little head, go, oh. it like slimes and goo, and it peers at you into the window. Guys! They're fucking ugly. Look, they're just not from here, you know? Uh, Are you, do you want to go home? I don't think we should be making that much noise. Be careful not to startle them. They don't want to know what happens if we get their attention. I'm gonna Bless. raise my hands Whatever. What? What? Is he what? saying something? What'd you say? Blood please. Blood play. Blobly? I, He's I saying, can't. where is something? Blood right? Bring beans? Beans? Ethan, you're, you're cutting out a little bit. Yeah. Did he say? Beans. Blog. Blog. Blogly. Can Does I? Someone with the speech shit insight check that? Like. Does he have... I was about to ask. What I. Wait. <laughs> I mean, I technically. <laughs> no, tongues is for writing, right? <laughs> I have an idea. They said beans, right? I can make some eggs. Are you guys hungry? Maybe they're just <gasps> I have an uh, hold Wait. <laughs> hey, can, can one of you ask one of your items, see if they know what they're saying? If they can understand? Well, for, if they're from the Feywild, um, I don't think the... The... The things... Uh, uh, are really uh, Feywild equipped. Um, guys, I think they want eggs. They're getting no. closer. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. Hungry. 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 No big deal. Oh, they're going to eat us. Uh. I cast. <laughs> Can I cast egg? Yes. Egg. Egg. You have an egg! You have an egg! <laughs> you have an egg. <laughs> when would this spell ever be useful? <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh my god. You That's may so cast good. egg. Uh, so, okay, the way <laughs> egg works is I cast a d6. Mm -hmm. Okay. One d6. Oh, it's not gonna work. Okay, I got uh -huh. one. So I summon 1d6 eggs into an occupied space. <gasps> oh, within five feet in any direction. Okay, so, oh God. I guess probably uh, here. This will be the only place I can summon it, right? Mm -hmm. The eggs. Uh, So let's see how many eggs are summoned. <laughs> one egg. <laughs> Just <laughs> one lonely egg. Is it a well, cantrip good. or a spell? It's a level two spell. <laughs> How? This is good. This is good. This is fine. They, we're going to see if they want egg. It's a peace offering. It's a peace offering. <laughs> so, uh, uh -huh. yeah, it says five feet in any uh, in an occupied space within five feet of you. So, <laughs> Wait, I, I, I want to add on to this if I can. I guess, okay. I guess like I'll put an egg literally right here in front of this one. Wait, since this is Jito's idea, I want to ask her. <laughs> if I, mean, I cast... Oh, no, I was just going to say if I cast Purify Food to cook it. Uh, purify Food? Is that I how that works? No, it's not how it works. I just oh. wanted to see if Ethan would allow it. 
you, I mean, if, if you eat a raw egg, egg it's just become vanilla. This becomes canon, and now he can cook shit with whatever the fuck he wants to purify. Purify food <laughs> makes it pure. Egg yolk is raw. Raw is bad for you, therefore purifying it would theoretically be cooking this it. is amazing but how, who says they can't eat it as it is i'm just i'm just hey, I'm, if you want to uh, do it you can do it i'm just saying i'm burning a level two spell here if you fuck her spell up we're, i'm losing my mind if you don't <laughs> cluck it up yeah don't cluck it up dude oh my gosh would, pur would purifying it actually make it a chicken no it's <laughs> not <laughs> trying to stop <laughs> Evan on roll. That a chicken? Wait, roll my. Okay, then I'm burning a level two as well. Evan on, what you're gonna be rolling is an Arcana check. Uh oh. Uh, D, what is your highest spell, uh, DC? My highest, uh, 14. 14? You have 10? to be a. <laughs> you was about to say you have to be a 14. You have, to, 10, you have so. to be a 14 for this to go right, is what I was about <laughs> to say. <clears throat> okay, okay. Waited until let's do this. All right, so an egg appears here. D, you tell me, how big is this egg? You summoned one, uh, but we never said anything about the size. Ooh, true. Um, I think, okay, so they have like tentacle arms. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd say probably like the size of my head. The size of Sapphire's head? Yeah, because I'm tiny, and then like an I would ostrich egg. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Sapphire has a pretty big head, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, no, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So an egg the size of Sapphire's head, plump, appears. Like right oh, you want it right there or right here? Well, it has to be five feet, and like I think the only. So in thing front five of the feet... window seal. Oh no. I guess technically, if I was here, mm -hmm. that doesn't make sense. Like I feel like five feet would technically be like here. I I will if... allow it. Okay, cool. So, boom, right in this corner, <laughs> this perfectly beautiful egg looks delicious. And <laughs> these guys are like, and, you know, they start running towards it. Full speed. You see the speed of them. It's immense, right? They're there in an instant, like that. Evanon, in that instant, tell me what you do. Uh... I see the egg. I, I mean, I guess we were talking about the plan, so I, I have my hands held up with Elbridge, and I point to purify. Mm -hmm. Do you say anything at all? I'm just curious. Do you say um, anything when you cast these spells, of and on? I do it with some, but not... I don't think with this. Is this one somatic? Uh, hold up. It is... No, wait, I do say something. What do you say? Uh, it's somatic and verbal, so I just say purify. Oh, verbal. Purify. All right. So Evan on points with a big grin on his face as he says, "Purify," and the egg begins to shake ravenously as it begins to purify, and everything inside gets cooked at once, cooking so fast that the outer shell wasn't ready to handle the heat that got inside this egg as it purified, and this perfectly it. steamy, almost burning hot egg pops out from Guys. the inside and as it pops out it hits you know they like they like reel back you know and like these two were fine but this one guys my eggs never done that before they take two damage each as they that one's on me. I'm sorry, Sapphire. From from the cooked burning egg that was on them, and they turn they turn your attend their attention to you all as you begin uh, to roll for initiative. What? Uh, okay. Yeah. Where's the initiative? It's green in combat. I got an eight. I got a six. I got a an eighteen. Oh, I got a natural one. Ooh. Guys, listen to this digestive <laughs> music. Digestive. What about patio? What did patio get? <laughs> Sorry, I'm having puppy problems. What do I have to do? Roll for initiative. Come on. 
sorry. On combat, it's, it's the green button. It's, I don't know if it's green for everybody. It's green. Click yeah, your green. character. Mm -hmm. All right, let me see. Let me look at initiative here. Who got a natural one? Our zoom. Our zoom. Okay. Yes. Uh, I'm going to be removing D wins from initiative. He is a non combative in this uh, fight. <clears throat> Of course. Patio with a nine, Elbridge with an eight, Evanon with a six, Sapphire with a five, Zazoria with an eighteen. Okay, so Zazoria will begin this. Wait, um... oh, we also need Felidae. Yeah, I was like, oh, roll. Oh, can you roll for Felidae, please? Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay, awesome, awesome, uh, awesome. Oh, so, Grog and Chunk. Uh, Grog and Chunk are at the bottom with you, Arzunezer. Jeez. Uh, so Felidae rolled an 8, Albert rolled an 8, so those two will be together. And then Patio rolled a 9, so they'll be with Elbridge and, and Felidae. Tantor is a non-combative, Sapphire rolled a 5. Evanon, what did you roll? A 6? Six? Six, yes. 5 and a 6. Lovely Melody is a non-combative, but she can provide buffs. Okay, and the Aboliths, if, I, if it lets me do what I want to do, will be right there okay so the way this is going to work is we're trying out again another style of initiative here zazoria elbert and felidae you three are allowed to go at the same time as long as you only take the maximum amount of actions movement and all you can do that all happens at the same time then it is the the abolith's turn they will do what they want and then patio through grog will have their turn and then our zoom for rolling a one you will have to wait for them all to finish and then you go and then after the first round you get to join them for the rest of the uh, all at the same time sort of thing okay. so with that out of the way does that make sense to everybody yeah mm -hmm. okay cool let me just cue in the music real quick and we can begin with zazoria zazoria what all do you right. do uh, I'm going to attack this one here in the front, the Feywild Abolith without a number. Okay. Um, first off, I'm going to cast Hex on it. All right. Uh, that one doesn't require... Oh, yes, here it is. Hex. So oh, it's okay. going to do three extra damage? Mm -hmm. When they get hit. Okay. Yeah, so then after that, I'm going to go ahead and cast Wild Blast. I'm letting everyone know, hey, I'm hitting this one in the front. What ability are you choosing? Um... Yeah oh fudge um fudge i kind of wisdom, wisdom. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, just, I'm just being wisdom it's weird it just came to I, me. I think that's not metagaming you're all on the same turn right <laughs> no we're uh, in the same true elbert oh. zazoria and feliday so you three yeah. are free to do whatever you like all i right, just right, gave right, zazoria right. since she rolled the highest the first verbal That's cue fine. but yeah you get you three are allowed to talk amongst each other and do what you want to do at the same time Faraday. no need to wait for each other i was gonna say Faraday runs up to the table mm -hmm. and uh prepares crossbow doesn't shoot just prepares it for this one ah Hold fighting up, like lady it. i'll drink to that <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> all right is there for this one or this one uh th this oh why isn't it let me point that one, that one that one that one this one for this yeah. one okay okay yeah that one all right, I'm letting Elbert know. Elbert, I'm hitting the first one. Why are you trying to you? Okay, got it. Okay. Zazora, uh, you have gonna... no line of sight, by the way. Elbert, I'm hitting first. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I guess I'm going to move like, a little bit. Right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think the okay. egg was close enough to Elbert to hit him, and that's what sends him into a rage. Ooh, a splatter Elbert of just like. His rage. Interesting. Okay. Okay, right. okay. <sighs> And he just start he with his thirty brand new thirty five feet of movement takes off and moves twenty feet into the middle of all of them to oh pull the God. fight outside. Perfect. Okay. That is, you uh, do not incite any opportunity attack because he stayed within their range. And I'm gonna focus the one right in front, the one that uh, Diana mm -hmm. or that Zazoria has hit with an attack. Um, I have summoned the mockery at this point. Mm -hmm. And we'll attack. Uh, I hit, I rolled a fourteen to hit. Okay. Um, you uh, missed Elbert. Okay. Uh, right. Zazoria, you hit. 
for what is that nine plus three so that's 12 damage all right you hit damage. for 12 damage i chose beast form tail beast form tail okay cool yeah does right. they have line of sight what they're doing she does with this window but the window will shatter and the glass will fall on sapphire oh shoot you're right i will take my second attack mm -hmm. nine again. to hit so uh, they, they're still like egg in my eye. I'm sorry. Yeah. They're like uh, these things seem <laughs> kind of skilled, Elverge. They you what? swing the sword, and it, it immediately backs away, unintentionally backing into Zazoria's Eldritch blast, knocking it forward. But you had already missed when you went for the other swing. It ducks its head underneath your sword. It is very capable. Interesting. Okay, that ends my turn. I got nothing. Okay, Thank perfect. You. And with that, it is now the Aboleth's turn, even though it's not saying it in chat for some reason. All right, so the Aboleth is going to turn to Elberch, and it's going to be like, you know what, motherfucker? You're, you're dead to me. Right? And as mm -hmm. it looks at you, it hits you with one of its fucking tentacles. Mm. Okay. Oh. Uh, for... Give me a sec. Mm -hmm. uh, well, how much does my shield go up? Is it plus four? Uh, click on it. Uh, I believe it is a reaction, so you can use it as a reaction. I could, I but I don't think it's going to be enough to block a 20. Uh, uh, I believe four, right? it is. Let me just double check for you here. Uh, a shield is... Can be used as a reaction to block half of the incoming damage if you succeed a dexterity 12 check. So you have to receive... Uh, uh, nah. Okay. I'll take it. Okay, cool. All right, what so kind then... of damage is it? Uh, this is, what is it called? Bludgeoning? Is that what it's okay. called? Yeah. It's halved. Uh, yeah, so it's halved. So you take... Um, all right, so we're, we're we're deeper into the campaign. I'm going to be less forgiving. Mm. You take five damage. That's fine. Okay. All right. And uh, you still got more around you. They're going to go for you. Another one goes for you. Hits you again for three damage. My max HP is 40. You never changed it. My bad. Thought I did. So Your max HP is, around. what is it? 50. So uh, add 9. Okay. 50, 36, uh, 4, plus, 45. Plus you have 45 right yep. now. Okay. Cool. And uh, hits. they both hit you. 1 for 4, 1 for 3. So that's 7 damage to Elbridge. Uh These other two. This one... Boom! Crashes through the glass into ah! Sapphire. And this ah, one, damn it! Crashes in but gets stuck halfway. And uh, it's stuck. And this one stares at um, Sapphire and unbeknownst to her, from the this little corner side of the glass, whips in a tail. And it misses. Ah! Sapphire, you quickly duck out of the way. Little lovely Melody pulling on your hair, terrified, causing you to move back and with a dodge. Okay, and that will end uh, the turn of that. And it is now Pat Teal Furniture, Sapphire, Evanon, Chonk, and Grog's turn. I got Arzun. Arzun is last. He has to wait for everybody. <laughs> Just kidding. Wait for rolling a one, you loser. All right, continue. <laughs> Wow. Cool. I want to go for the step bro one that's stuck in the, the window. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> and I'm going to do a stunning strike. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no. Sorry. Fury of blows. And then I want to attack again. Okay. Uh, you can move With yourself to it. And you can do all that stuff. Cool. So... Wow. All right. A flurry of blows. Yep. You hit. The second one doesn't hit, so you only do six damage to start off with. Okay. And then can I do Thunderclap right after? Yes. Cool. All right. And it's a constitution saving throw of 12. It's going to go ahead and do its best to make it. It does, but it's stuck, so it's a disadvantage. Ooh. Ooh, it barely fails. Taking the full two damage is... Hey, you're level five now. Does that go up at all? 
the damage I for thunderclap? It should. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, is it uh? It's a cantrip. It's a cantrip. Yeah, yeah, it should oh. probably be. Uh, no sir. It's now two d six. Two d six. Okay. Yeah. Um, I will alter that in just a minute. But just roll, roll another one d six. Do you know how to do that? Nor. Uh, okay then. Um, then let me just. I'm gonna do this for you very quickly then. I'm hitting a button that doesn't mean anything because I can't find anything about it. No worries. Okay, uh, go ahead and roll it again then. Says she. <laughs> okay, you hit it for nine damage. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't know a lot about Elberk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Elberk is a fucking woman. Okay, uh, and then Chonk and Grog are gonna are gonna go to town. And of course, you know, classic Chonk fashion, he misses. I don't think he's ever hit an enemy. Grog, <laughs> Grog goes for it. He yes, hits. Grog! Ooh, he hits and he does decide to use the hunter's mark on the the abolith, hitting him for 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Can't do math. Damage. All right. Uh, Evan on Sapphire, what would you guys like to do? I'm going to go right outside. Oh, sorry. Do you want to go first? Go first. It's at the same time. You guys are. <laughs> I know, I know. But like in speaking wise, I'm just gonna go outside. Uh, as I'm going outside, touch, uh, touch my chest. Ha cast Shield of Faith, first level. Okay. So it's plus two to my AC, uh -huh. and I'm just gonna use Killer on this guy over here. All right. You use what? Killer with your 19 AC. He stabs with his sword he named Killer, hitting it for three damage. 21. Yeah, you hit it for three damage. Uh, since it doesn't have a rune yet, it's not as powerful as it could be. Mm -hmm. All right, you hit it for three damage. It knocks back and it bumps Elberch. Mm, Elberch are in rage, correct? Correct. And you're using tail that uh, allows a reaction. Uh, does the tail attack or is it defensive? The reaction. The tail. The tail. Can it, the tail reaction is defensive if I choose to use it. I roll a d8 and uh, add that to my AC. You are free to use that reaction right now since the Abolith backed up into you, if you'd like. Is it doing damage to me? Sorry, I was reading my abilities. No, it more more likely you're in rage and it just kind of startled you. It bump, bumped into you from Elberg, I mean, from Evanon hitting it. We can roll to see if, uh, if Elberg startled, startled to use a reaction. Do something. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, 1D... What do you call it? What, what number? D20. One D twenty. Cool. Yeah. You tell above me a ten. That... Uh, above a ten, use reaction. Below a ten, don't okay. use reaction. I use my I use my reaction as to for my tail. Go for it. You can use the macro. Uh, Evanon, when you swap when you swiped with your sword, it tried to dodge out of the way, but you caught it real quickly with your keen eye and were able to adjust to hit the the abolith. Nice. Two to my knee was added, or do you mean attack with the whip? Is that what you mean? Uh, I believe I have a macro for tail. You do have a macro for tail. Oh, I see, I see. I see what you want. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. And I, I know they put a roll there, but you actually don't need it since it's a reaction. Uh, that's going to be 10 damage because you're in range. Yep. Okay. Nice. All right. You're the, the form you take, bah, fucking smacks it, and it, it knocks back forward, not into Evanon, but towards Evanon. This Abolith is taking a beating. Sapphire, what do you do? Uh, I'm going to uh, quickly grab this chair. Okay. I'm gonna stay like within the range, and then I'm going to stand on top of the chair, uh -huh. and then with my uh, hands forward, mm -hmm. I will cast Thunder Wave towards the Abolith, okay. and yeah. So, um, I I think I want to do it with the intention of it pushing him back and uh -huh. me back. Okay, that can work. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Where do you do you move, do you just stand on this chair? Or do you move it to where you're at? So, yeah, I'm gonna pull the chair. I like try. Okay. I grab right. the chair, pull it. I stand on. I like jump on top of it and then like, uh, bring my hands forward mm -hmm. and I'm like, back up, feel <laughs> the, feel my waves. Feel the wrath of us. <laughs> yeah. When will you learn? Uh, and then wave. <laughs> there we go. So right, comes you to saving throw. Uh, it says mm -hmm. twelve, but it might be higher. Tell me, you tell me. Uh, it should be uh da, 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 fourteen, please. Fourteen. Okay. It fails. Uh, it has nice. disadvantage. So let's see how bad it fails. 
it failed. <laughs> it, luckily, it failed. <laughs> and so yeah. it takes nine death. Uh, no, wait, are numbers? you casting it as level one or level two? Uh, level the one that's there's good. So thirteen is thirteen. Okay, so you first hit it for thirteen damage, and it uh, the blast <coughs> wave boom sends it back, roaring out of the taking an additional two damage from the glass cutting into its head as it as it. <laughs> And then you get knocked off your chair, and you're knocked, boom, into this table. I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah, it's just your shoulder, though, not your head, so you're good. All right, and I with get... that, that ends everyone's turn, and Arzun, it is now your turn. Can I actually... Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, sorry. You can, can, I, like, can, I, can I take a moment to see, like, if they seem, like, hostile after we're, like, just hurting them? Oh, uh, you can do an insight check. Just... Uh... Okay. Oh. You take a look, <laughs> and as it's snarling with glass on its head, it turns to you with blood in its eyes, snarling. She got a seven. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, you're oh. narrating. Awesome. Right. Okay, and Arzun, it is now your turn. All right, Arzun is going to grab his staff. And he's going to lift it high as he whispers to himself, ice, and slams it on the ground to summon Snilllock's Snowball Swarm right here. Is it pointing? I'm oh, clicking yeah. space, but it's not here? pointing. Oh, jeez. No. Uh, make sure you clicked onto map tools. Or right, here, look, I'll move my space bar. Into I am. Ah. To the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. A <laughs> little bit lower. There. <laughs> okay. All right. So right here? Yeah. Okay. And any creature within a five foot range, um, dexterity saving throw. Okay, uh, dexterity saving throw. Uh, I believe you have the, um, you should have a macro for it. Not nice. sure. Wait, does anyone hear music? Uh, yeah, I hear music. Do you guys yeah. hear it? Yeah, I hear it. Okay, good. Turn it up a little bit. It's so you know the DC is 16 now, not 14. 16? Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, two of them have failed already. Let's see if the big guy in the middle fails. Let's see. Dexterity. And you said it was what? 16? Uh, yeah. All right. So two of them take 11 damage. Oh, big guy manages to get out of the way. Does not take 11 damage. Uh, I believe it halves, so he only takes, what, six damage? Yeah. Okay, cool. And anything else on your turn? Uh, that's it. All right, and back to Zazoria, Elbert, and Feliday. It is now your turn in the initiative. Feliday's just going to shoot her two bolts at okay. the one at the window. Mm-hmm. All right, go ahead. One? Uh, yes. I'm assuming so. Long bow. Wait, what? I thought I had a short bow. Okay. No, First one is uh, for 19, 6 damage, <laughs> and the second one is for at uh, 20 for 6 damage as well. She shoots them both at the same same target? Yep. All right. She does 12 damage. Jesus. Rolling high. <laughs> All right. And yep. Makes a sound as it strikes this one in the gut and near the head in one of its flaps. All she says is, <laughs> Perfect. I would like to take my attack. Okay. On this one right here. Alrighty. I got a roll to 15. Mm. Nope. Okay. Hmm? okay. Okay. Yeah, so he swipes down, and once again, it seems to just know Elbridge's moves as it dodges once again. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I was just gonna say, seeing that he was gonna do it, I was gonna try to time it at the same time. Obviously, he failed, yeah, but yeah. I'm gonna no, hit I, I at the same time. time. Uh, uh, at the same one. Wild Blast? Yes. Evan, Evan on dexterity saving throw? Got it. Ooh. That's a big damage right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yikes. Oh, that's a natural, a natural one, one that's baby. Not a natural one. That oh, is a no. natural one. Yikes. That's a lot of damage, Evanon. All right, Evanon yes. gets hit with the full blast and hurls into the Feywild Aboleth. And, okay, hold on. Oops, I moved. 
Anyways. Boom. They both get moved over here with the blast. Both taking... Uh, uh, Evanon taking 30 and the Feywild Aboleth taking uh, 15 damage. He's almost dead. <laughs> oh my I'll goodness, I'm so sorry, yeah. Evanon! Albert, okay, anything else? Um, I still have my movement. Fuck, I did my action attack. I can't. Okay. Um, what can I do? I'm going to move my... Sorry, I'm trying to move myself... Uh, to put myself in front of uh, Evanon, okay, and between me and the others. Oh, what's your? What is your? My AC, AC is fourteen. Uh, you can use your. Shield do I have my? Rea we have, I have my reaction back with my tail because it's been a turn already, hasn't it? Yeah, you can either use your tail or you can use your shield as a reaction. I'm gonna use my tail to, as a reaction to do to add a D8 to the to my AC. Okay. I add seven. Which right. makes it... It misses. Uh, yep. It tries to fucking swing its te tentacle at you, but you you just, you're too fast. I'm going to use my second attack on the this one right here. Mm -hmm. And hopefully kill it. And uh, rolled a 10. Damn, dude, I can't hit anything. Elbridge comes swinging down <sighs> with his sword, and for a brief moment, he sees Evanon, who's just got really hurt, distracting him just long enough to miss... Once again, I'll take okay. my uh, I'll the last bit of my movement and reposition myself. Oh boy, this is tough, right there. Okay, uh, and you reposition to there, and that is all your turns. And it is now the Feywild's turn. Did the music <laughs> stop? It did it? Sure did. Mm. Nani? No worries, no worries. Let me just play something real quick for y'all. Damn. Ended quickly. Should be fine. Okay. All right. Weird start. Okay. <laughs> All right. And so now they turn their attention. The Feywild Aboleth stares at you, Elbert. And as it raises its tail, it stops. And it seems to sniff the air. And it turns its head directly to Evanon. And it shrieks, me! And all of them turn their head to Evanon. And it immediately um. shoots its tail out. Evan, on what is your AC right now? Uh, so uh, whew, let me go ahead and check that. Because you casted yourself, um, you're 17 without the the mage armor or whatever it is you put on yourself. With the mage armor, it's 19. 19. Okay, you're at 19. It that one misses, but this one quickly pounces as it's it stabs with one of its tentacles, also oh, missing. Wow. This one pounces as well, also missing. This one ignores and it it pounces. Missing, and this one rips itself free, and with just enough movement, is able. Hold on. I'm this just one's glad, gonna move out of the way. I'm just glad Ethan's not using flanking rules right now. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> flanking? I'm just kidding. Like... I'm just kidding. <laughs> but unfortunately, this one strikes Evanon for ten damage. Evanon, do you have anything you can do here? A reaction, uh, anything. Uh, yeah, I have one reaction. What if is you it? let me. I am... I... Would cast... No. I'll take the... I'll take the 10 damage. I have four. And Evanon... Oh, no. oh my god. It pierces straight through the center of his body. The tentacle sharper than it looks. And it, it stays there. As they all can smell the blood in the water. Hungry. For you, Evanon. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna... It is now Patio Sapphire, Evanon, and Chonk and Grog's turn. I will immediately cast Create Food and Water. 45 pounds of food all around me and Elberk, surrounding us. What kind of food? Uh, Wait, what are you gonna cast? You... Casting Create Food and Water. Yeah, I have that at third level. Okay. I just saw it, and I could have saved this fight. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cast it around us. It's gonna be a gourmet buffet, and it's 45 pounds worth of food. <laughs> okay, and all right, tell me exactly what you summon here, Evanon. Okay, uh, as like the thing is near, me, uh, like like inside me, I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Grab my hand, I turn it around me, and I cast the food from the ground. It's going to be a gourmet buffet all 
the steaks, turkey legs, cakes, and all that fancy stuff that you would see at a high course, like restaurant, high class restaurant. All right. Hoping is it all cooked? Like is any order. of it raw? Yeah, no, it's all cooked. It's all cooked. I mean, it's okay. food. Just and not the sushi. Be... Not the sushi. <laughs> uh, it's you all have gonna California be... rules. Oh, okay. shoot. He's asking me because this matters. No, it's absolutely yes. not. Yeah. Oh, Anything else? Um, fish. Fish? Okay. All right, you swing I make, your I make, I make it clear that I make a fort around, not, not a roof, but like a fort around me and Elberk. All right. These walls of meat begin to rise up around you. And fish, steak, pork, you name it, it's in there. And as 45 pounds worth around two people creates a wall of about maybe two to three feet high. <laughs> and finally a cake lands on your head, Evanon. <laughs> as you specified a cake. Oh. <laughs> and okay. the beasts around smell the air once again. All right. Who else? We still got... Uh, Patio, Patio, Sapphire, Chonk, and Grog, what do you guys do? I still have my movement. You can move if you want. Okay, go ahead, no. go ahead, then. I'm going to cast... I'm like, oh no, this doesn't look good! So I'm going to be all like... Um... I'm going to point at... I guess the... I'll, I'll just, I'll be like, where did they go, actually? Because I didn't even went. And then I'll run to the window to see what's happening. And then I see all them all surrounding. And then I'm like, oh no, they're surrounding someone. And I was like, okay, maybe I'll confuse one. So then I point at this, this one, the one that I see closest. And I will um, cast enemies abound onto it. So uh, if you can give me an intelligent saving throw of four, with DC 14. Okay, DC 14 intelligence saving throw. Uh, I want to use my bardic inspiration. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> to, uh, actually, can I use it to track where I'm thinking? Like to add to the DC? Yeah, I can usually take it away, I think. If not. It rolled a 24, by the way. Yeah, oh, well, then I guess it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you have enough uh, in that. No. Nope. What is that spell supposed to do? Uh, I reach into the mind of one of the creatures and force it to make an intelligent saving throw. A creature automatically succeeds if it's immune to being frightened. On failed, the target loses the ability to distinguish friend and foe regarding all creatures it sees as enemies until the spell ends. I have a Each weird question. Damage. Mm -hmm. Where, what, I guess... What is the spell's origin in a sense? I um It's an this, enchantment. It's an enchantment? <sighs> is it from any specific place, people, anything like that? Or you don't know. Totally understandable if you don't know. I'm just thinking. Okay. No. So you cast this enchantment. Uh it feels something in its head, and as it looks around, uh it it, it can't confuse the people here as these are people from a different world. So it remains strong and knows exactly who its brethren are. Fair enough. Okay. Anything Let's else? Uh, uh, I cast... I, have to the one? I... I don't know. I know. That's it. That's it. Alright. And Patio Furniture, what do you do? Patio, we can't hear you. You're, you're... <laughs> Hello? Hello, we can hear you now. <laughs> Patio is like, oh, hell no. No one's dying on my watch today. So I'm going to try to run over to the play wild thing, number one. Mm -hmm. Over here. I'm going to try to get between Whoa, these two. How, how much? Movement, brother. Yeah, what's oh, your movement speed? Uh, let me take a look. You Probably can move like 30, 30 feet. 30. You can move 30 feet. I can go 30? Yeah. Okay, then. I'm going to go between oh, Remember, there's here. a door there. So. Uh, let me let me test something for you. 
you can get to there, which is still okay. in range. So I'm going to get between these two then. Okay. And I want to do two attacks as well again. Okay. I want to do Thunderclap on this hole. This one or I this number one? Two. Yeah, number okay, two. Okay, number two. All right. Number two, my lord. Number two, my lord. <laughs> All right, and you said it's a 14 instead of a 12 now. Whoa. Fuck, dude. All right, it passes only taking, what is that? Six damage. Okay, what else? And then I want to do Stunning Strike on this one, number four. Number four, okay. You can go ahead and use your Stunning Strike. All right. It is stunned. Nice. So it should be stunned for a whole round. Yep. This next round, on its next turn, it will not be able to move. Anything else from anybody? Uh, can I bonus um, action? If I if if I can see them surrounded, I will. Bardic inspiration. Uh, I think Avanon. If I can see him from there. Hmm. It has to be 60 feet, actually. You got it. You can you can do it. Okay. And yeah, uh, I'll bardic inspiration of a non. Okay. Thank you. All right. And Grog, of course, comes in, swinging away with his great club once again. And Chonk, once again, is like, I, I'm going to hit one eventually. And he misses <laughs> once again <laughs> as he shakes in fear, holding his light hammer, staring. Oh, sorry, my lord. Okay, and uh, Arzun, it is also your turn. Cool. Oh, okay. Were you going to do something, Ro? I had he an can't. idea, but I, okay, I can't. He used his... Oh, uh, okay. Unless you have a bonus action. Uh, that's what I was going to ask you. Okay, what is it? I have bonus action uh, mass healing word, but that is a spell. And mm. I don't have the ability to make two spells at the moment. Mm -hmm. Then no, you can't do that. Okay, Arzun. Let's defeat. Okay, I'm going to cast Magic Missile. Okay. Or I guess, uh, do I know that it's enhanced, or is it just going to happen, or... It's just going to happen. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast it as a level 3 spell, though. Okay. Damn. Uh, you're free to all... You also have your movement. Yeah, so I'm going to move up a bit as much as I can from a safe distance. Okay. And I'm going to attack I'll say one here. Which one? To Fabled Abolith. Two? Number two? Um, yes. Uh, two here. Two okay. number three. One to two. two and to three. three here. Two number three. All right, three, two, and one. Gotcha. All right, go for the roll. We said you're casting it as a third level. Yeah. So it just adds an extra one, right? Yeah. Do you want me mm -hmm. to just roll? Yeah, just roll an extra one d8 and then add one to it. All it's right. With a bracket, right? Yes. Uh, and then you can choose which damage you want to do. Nice. Okay. So you can do a damage nine, eight, three, two, and one, and two. So okay, how much damage do you do? To I'll which? say the nine to the number two. Okay. To this one, the eight to number three. Gotcha. And I guess the three. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that it? Is that a three? Two? Yeah. Well, you got one three. Numbers? Uh, and two twos still. One, three, two, two. Okay. So then, uh, three here. Ah. Okay. Here. All right, and, and you then... got two twos. Ooh. Yep, that one gets okay. hit, and it falls. Then I'll do uh, the number two again. All right, for both twos. Uh, no, I'll do one and one. <laughs> okay, one. Oh, that one falls to the ground as well. 
And there you go. All right, and with that, we go back to Zazoria, Elbert, and Felidae. It is now your turn. We okay. are covered in food. Uh, there is yeah. a wall, technically, of food, uh, about two feet high. Okay. Yeah. It, can, can, can we tell, like, what they're looking at, if there's anything in particular? Like, can I roll, like, a, I don't know, skill check or something for that? Tell what what's looking at, what they are looking at, or what the... Yeah, like, what food they're, like, mostly looking at, eyeing. I really, really, I want to know if they're looking at that cake on top of, it, on top of Ebenon's head. Insight, insight, yeah. Okay. Do they even have eyes? Good question. They do. Oh. Insight of nine. Kobe. They're still looking at Evan on, that's for sure. All right. Well, I'm just going to do it regardless. I just want to try to cast a minor illusion. Okay. I want to make a ginormous cake. Um, I think it says it has to be 30 feet. So, yeah, I'm going to do it like as far as I can. So, around right here. Mm -hmm. um, so, like this area right here. Okay. I want to cast a giant cake, so five foot. All right. Big ass oh. cake, see if they, you know, get distracted by it. <laughs> All right, you cast um, a five foot cake. Mm -hmm. uh, how big... To... Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. I was going to say, how big is Evanon? How big I is Evanon? I am uh, five okay. nine. You're, you're five... You're almost six feet tall? No. I'm nine? I'm nine. I'm sorry, okay. no. I, no that's, I'm dumb. It's not ten and then six. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you tell us, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> You're five nine, scrawny. Five eight, five nine. Five eight and a half. I, uh, how tall are you, Diana? Like five uh, four. Yeah, I would say. Okay, Elbrick I is probably one. like five feet, like four foot ten, stocky guy. Mm -hmm. Could I pick up uh, Evanon? Could I pick him up yeah. and you and shield him, like cover him enough to be be able to block him from taking opportunity of attacks? My plan is to pick him up and run. You're since you're smaller. That could be for disengage action. Yeah. Um, yeah, you could pick up Evanon and run. Problem is, you're in rage. Oh, you're right. I can't even. I can't do that. I can't mm -hmm. walk away. Yeah, it's fighting right. time, boy. It is fighting time. Holiday uh, will go ahead and uh, run out here. Uh, let's say that's enough. All right, and she's she standing right next to the cake. Oh, sorry. You're right over here. Okay. <laughs> uh, she will shoot uh, a crossbow, one bolt at this one. Mm -hmm. uh, well, wait, did the cake do anything? Did they uh, move? Were they uh, distracted? I will tell you when it's their turn. Okay. Okay. One bolt to that, and she's gonna throw a hand axe to it too. Okay. Damn, not twenty now. Jesus Christ. Five, Alrighty. so it's ten. Yep. It's natural twenty, so oh yeah. All right, cool. Oh my god, that's it for Faladi. It didn't get him out. Uh, Albert, mm. what do you do? So doing? I, uh, I can can I? It's a two foot wall of food, but can I see these uh, creatures? Yeah, over the wall. It's two feet, dude. It's, you okay. can step over. <laughs> I'm absolutely gonna aim um, this one over here then with. Uh, I'm literally gonna I'm gonna put the mockery into the ground. Plonk it down, pull out my great axe because the mockery is failing me, uh -huh. and lunge at uh, uh, Abola three with my great axe. Okay. Uh, I can't pick. I can't. Uh, uh, no worries. There you go. <laughs> Thank By you. By the way, the one uh, just say just in, in, if it's important. You're aiming at the one that has me held up by the chest. Indeed, he is. That's the one he's aiming at. Okay, cool. Great axe. Misses. Okay. Roll the mockery, oh, please. Roll the mockery? Yes. 14. Okay, 14 plus 8. You hit 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16, right. and then 24, 28, and then 30, 31, 32. All right, you do 32 damage as the mockery, insulted by the fact you would not use it, swings in, and as you swing down your great axe, it brings it down on top of the great axe and in as it, it fucking just buries itself deep inside the center of the abolith as it screams the knife comes the sword comes down and it pushes itself down all on its own dealing 32 damage to it jesus christicles why the fuck didn't you do that before it does not <laughs> <Why> respond <didn't> <laughs> 
Well, uh, I did. Well, okay. Um, I, have one, I have one more attack, and I will okay. use it to uh, attack Abolith number... Abolith number one. Okay. I will still use the Great Axe. Uh, 16 right. to hit. It hits for 14 damage. Um, Since the Abolith that I casted Hex on died, I mm -hmm. want to move it on to the Abolith 1 as well. Okay, an additional 3 damage. Why 14? Uh, uh, Why 14? And I can you're still... in rage. I only get a plus 2 to oh, my... Oh, plus 2? I was multiplying. Not my bad. No, my, bad not my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, 7, 8, 9, so... Five healing. Okay. Good catch. Good catch. All right. And what, what else are you gonna do, Diana? Uh, I'm just gonna use my crossbow. Okay. And so. Dang. Uh, it shoom, whizzes past everyone. I don't heads. use that thing because I'm so bad with it. Okay. All right. I won't be Katniss Everdeen. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, it is once again the Abolith's turn, as this one stares down at Elbert and Evanon. Okay. All right. So this one's going to use the siphon and um, Evanon, give me a dexterity saving throw, DC 14. Twenty natural 20. Natural 20. Oh, nice. Evanon, with a natural 20, uh, you see, you for some reason, your God in your time of need has blessed you with a vision you've never had before. As you see what seems to be an invisible tentacle come straight at you. And as it's coming, you quickly move out of the way and the tentacle misses. And the Abolith stares in confusion. Like an so anime confused. Trip? No, no, like you move. Okay, sure, you do that. Whatever. <laughs> That's what I you guess. do. <laughs> you give it to me. Hey. <laughs> That's what he does. Uh, and then, okay. And with that, all right. Elbridge, roll Wait, me that a. Wait, isn't one of them stunned? Oh, you're right. It is stunned. Elbridge, you're no, safe. Oh, what? Oh. Elbridge, you are safe. Okay, cool. Well, then that's going to end their turn. No, wait. Yeah, that ends its turn. As Sapphire is watching at the window, can she ask her bag, does this thing have a soul? <laughs> it it does. Gonna it out. <laughs> but... Would you like me to collect? Do the pigs suck? <laughs> and this, these green <laughs> wisps come out. <laughs> and then... Whoosh, and they go straight into your bag. <laughs> All right. And it is now Patio, Sapphire, Evanon, Chunk, Grog, and Arzun's turn. Me? Yep. Arzun, oh. you're not part of the full collective. I had a question. Right. These things lived after their souls just got sucked? Well, there are the uh, she sucked the souls out of the dead ones. Mm. Uh, weak mm. on my knees. I'm going to go ahead and do something. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a uh, killer. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna... doing the cake didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the cake didn't work. So sorry, I went over it, but yeah, the cake didn't work. They are okay, hard you. set on the scent of death. I I'm gonna cast uh, guiding bolt on killer. You're gonna cast guiding bolt on killer. Okay. Wait. The way you asked me that. What is that? Mean? I'm just asking. Well, Guiding Bolt is like a shooty, uh, shooty bolt of lightning, and uh -huh. then kill it. I was just gonna cast it on it, and I wanted to strike this one. Are you gonna like ricochet off or what? Ricochet? What do you mean? Like you're gonna you're, hold you're, killer? You're casting, a <laughs> you're casting a projectile onto your sword. Oh, well, I was more like I was charging it up. You're but yeah, you're right. That's not stupid, guys. I'll just use killer on this no, guy. No, hold on. Roll me an Arcana check if you want to do it. Ah. Uh, if you want. Oh, killer's your sword. Oh, yes. okay. I was like, what the fuck is killer? <laughs> Six. No, it would not be enough. I am. Okay. Uh, roll really roll not. killer for me, please. Okay. Just killer on this guy. Just killer. Yep. Uh, very curious. Did I already use my spell by rolling that? 
Uh, yes, you did. Okay, I'll, I'll burn it. Uh, natural 20! Nice. So, nice. something... Uh, 16 damage. Although you weren't able to power up your killer, your sword, the, the energy that you sent with the guiding bolt shoots killer out of your hand and lodges it right into the center of the abolith in front of you. Hitting it for... Uh, I know it's eight. It's an additional two damage plus the double, so it's going to be eighteen damage. Oh! Oh wow! That's all right. perfect. Boom! Yeah, you you fucking killed it. Wow! Uh, and it Jeez. falls over dead. And I fall also fainting. All right, Evanon faints. It's not, okay, roll <laughs> roll for fainting, faint. please. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Evanon is knocked over, as he he can't believe he even survived this. And he has fainted. Oh, Jesus. He actually did it. Okay. Uh, who's next? Uh, Patio um, Furniture, Sapphire. Was my Present. was my asking of the souls an action or like a bonus action? It was a bonus action. All right. Uh, question. Did we see the green souls play you out? You sure did. Grog goes for a hit, <laughs> if, but he misses. If I walk over to to sapphire and ask a question is that a an action walking over and asking a question is not an action but it okay. does expend your movement all right yeah, both grog fine. and chunk once again the side characters of this show continue to miss <laughs> these guys are slimy fuckers okay Indeed they are. so i walk over to sapphire and i'm just gonna ask her why didn't you just try sucking out their souls when they were alive, like with those other bad guys? I don't know. I just, I just want to be able to do something. I can try it now. I hop out <laughs> and I try to suck, do the big suck. The big okay. suck. The big. big I'm kind of scared. Suck. All right, big Sapphire. Suck. You take out your bag. And you ask it to suck the soul out of this abolith. And oh, no. so it does as it's told. And once the soul begins to rip out of its soul as it screams in pain. And then the green energy glows brighter as it also rips as it seems something is sucking out. Evanon is unconscious. Albert, you have to roll a dexterity saving throw dc 18 to try and uh, grab evan on and roll out of this area do i see this coming yes you do so you do have advantage uh dexterity is a skill mm -hmm. uh, it's a saving throw though ah dude when will i learn, <laughs> when will I learn? When will I learn? Oh, no. so i got a four, i got a 14 to 15 and a nine it is not enough holy shit Okay. Uh, I guess all I can do because it's a 15. Uh, oh, wait. I will have. Hmm. D, you gave your bardic inspiration to Evanon, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Evanon, you are free to roll for this. The DC okay. with him not having to save you is 14. So you just have to roll above a 14. For a saving throw, which one? Uh, dexterity. He's, he's He fainted, though, didn't he? He sure did, but I'm doing I have something bardic here. Yes, bardic. Ah, I understand. All right, I'm about to click it. I got another one. You got a 12. Oh, I see. Uh, I, right. I guess well, I would grab, I would try to grab him and like realize he's fucking heavier than I thought. Mm -hmm. And so at that point, I'm just like grabbing onto him. Oh, you're going to stay with him and hold him. Oh, I thought that was the whole point of the roll. Like, no, the whole the point of the roll is you're getting out of an area of effect and you have a chance to grab Ev Evan on. So you I, can uh, choose to stay with him if you'd like. I I literally, uh, if I do this, I don't. My rage wouldn't let me walk away from this monster, from how we have it canoned. So I would <laughs> have to walk towards him and past him to do this, to get out of the area of effect. Correct. You can you can do that. You can stay with Evanon, or you can just continue fighting the monster. Those are your options right now. I think he would. Attack, I think out of is he's still in rage, so he would attempt to uh, continue fighting the Abolith, and I guess for narrative sake, you could say he tries to tackle him outside of the 
out of the out, out of the ring. As a reaction, you're just gonna attack him. <laughs> oh shit! It's a reaction. Oh my god! You're right. I'm dumb. <laughs> no, I literally I have no option but to stay in this. All right, because you I'm, stay I'm engaged. As this thing rips open, patio furniture. <laughs> you it's must failed. roll me a dexterity saving throw. DC 14. No, well, isn't your tail a reaction? My tail's a reaction to increase my AC. Either way, it won't help for what's happening now, so. Yeah. Okay, Na I don't, narratively, I don't think he would be able to leave the circle. All right, uh, we'll dexterity saving throw, DC 14, so above a 14 is what you need to, to not. I just put it to and Yeah, then saving throw, dexterity. <gasps> Fuck. 11. Patio furniture, you do not escape this area of effect. Uh, Gra uh, Chunk is actually in it. Da -da 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 -da. But Chunk rolls away. <laughs> Grog is safe. All right. Big, Big things are happening. All right. So it rips open and you can see into once again you see the astral plane mixed in with a beautiful forest almost yeah uh, uh what were you gonna say albert i was gonna say do i call back my sword or can i like, yeah your, your sword yeah your sword's back in right and all the dead monsters are sucked in and then as this one's soul is tearing apart from it it gets sucked in and for those who are unable to escape, they too get pulled in and the portal closes. The fight is done. And we will go on break. See you guys in 10 minutes. Tell me when y'all are ready. Don't be mad at me. All right, back to D and D. Let me play the music once again, as we are back from our little break here. Should be playing. Theoretically, nope. I'm stupid. I need to type out the word play. All right, all right. Y'all just witness what happened. Go on and speak. I can't. Uh, Did they just? Move out. Uh, I think it worked. General area. I have a question. Did we see the astral plane or just the people in the aura? Oh, wait, thing? really quickly. I forgot to say this. It was in the back of my head. I promise this isn't contrived. Okay. Um, Chonk jumps in after Evanon. Okay. So Chonk That's is fair. gone too. As okay. he yells for his lord. That checks out. Is the aura still there? Is who? The aura, like the green The aura energy? is still there. There seems to be a thing, but it's not open. Um. Um. What if I put it back? Did I get the soul or no? The one that I was trying to suck? Uh, so the soul you're trying to suck was green. But it was it was bright with energy, right? Because it was a living soul. Mm -hmm. Someone left. From Monty. Oh, okay. Hopefully um, he joins back soon. Um, oh no, yeah. not the screen. <laughs> so yeah, it, it was bright green, and it was you know just bursting with energy. You got half of it. Oh, interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Oh no! Uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if that fixes. Romanti, por favor. All right, cool. Oh, there he is. All right, mm. and yeah, so you got half of the half of that soul. Um, I I don't know what happened. Um, what do we do? Maybe we jump in after them. No, 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 no. I don't know if we should do that. I don't even think we can. Um, yeah. I mean, I assume we saw Chonk jump in afterwards, right? Yes, you saw, well, Chonk jumped in as it was all happening. As he saw 
Evanon getting sucked in, since he was mm -hmm. so close, he jumped in as well to try and grab him. Oh, mm -hmm. shit. <laughs> What's up? Nothing. I did something dumb. All right. I'm going to put that there until he comes back. Okay. Um, um, yeah, so Chonk, the, the thing closed as Chonk entered. Okay. Um, what do oh, we do? I have an idea. Uh, she points her finger towards the, um, I have sending right for the message. Uh, you sure do. Okay, so I know they're I know they're behind that area or whatever. Okay. So she's going to point into the like sliver that she sees. She's all like, "Uh, oh, Birch, please tell me you're okay. Where are you?" So she says, "Oh, Birch, where are please you? Please tell me you're okay." Okay. Please tell me. Okay. Where are you? Uh, do, do I get? Where? What's the word limit on sending? What's the 25. what? Twenty-five. Twenty-five words. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm gonna remove that limit. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I don't like that. That's, so it's yeah, removed. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I agree, hundred percent. Do I respond? Nope. Albert, oh, yeah. you do okay. not respond. Well, actually, um. Albert, yes, you do respond. No, no, I can't have you. Fuck. Here's what you get back. Albert, <laughs> I'm a... No, no. no. <laughs> Albert, I am going to send you a message here. Very quickly mm. on this side. Mm. Uh, is Romanti back? Yeah, mm -hmm. he is. All right, and now you can respond... Somewhat accordingly. He needs to be reloaded. Uh, gotcha. Albert, you are free to respond now. Um... Are you guys okay? God! It's been forever! Mm. Alright, that's it. No more. This dumb bitch didn't answer my question! Um, so I, I I think he's alive, you guys. Um, I, I heard him. Um, he said it's been forever. I don't know what that means. We literally saw him like half a second ago. It's been forever? Uh. So Tontor? <laughs> it's possible time's running differently on whatever place they're at yeah. did they go back to the astral plane indeed arzun as you are hit with that juicy succulent painful wave of wisdom why yeah. what did i do this time i didn't touch anyone you existed remember you passed your waters of wisdom so you are hit with that wonderful wisdom that comes in waves and as you're hit with it yes this time, it seems to always be relevant to the situation you're in. The Feywild runs on a different time. An hour there could be who knows how long here. A second? You don't have the exact math, but you do know it is faster there than it is here. What's going on? So. You good, Romanti? Oh, I think he froze. I think he oh. froze. <laughs> I think he froze. Yeah. I was like, he's, in. Really, he's really Dude, taking he's... in this information. <laughs> I'd like to be like, yo, you want to relay that to us? <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, hey, buddy. All right. Oh, he's back. Okay, that was quick. All right. Romanti, you good? I'm so sorry. I don't know what's happening. It's fine. It's fine. Did you hear what I said? Uh, the last I heard was something about, um, the pain and, uh, time runs differently in the yep. Feywild. That's all, that's all and you And then I was, 
Okay, and then I was gonna ask, I know that, or did Tontor say that? No, you know that now. Okay. Then I tell my people, um, uh, don't ask how I know this, I just, I, I have a feeling that they're in the Feywild, and oh, no. time there just seems to go faster. So, that means we're wasting time here. Or they're wasting time over there. You cut to Evanon and Elbrick, like, <laughs> throwing a rock at each other. Right? <laughs> 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 throwing a rock, magic um, rock, magic rock. Like, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> okay, so then we just need to figure out either how to get there or how to get them back. We kind of know how to get there, don't we? Well, we made it to the Ash Plane, not necessarily the Feywild. Um, hmm. Do you think having... F Oi! Those creatures... They came through a portal then, this right? This so... non-sad. True. I believe they so did. Do you think using a Feywild soul would help us enter the Feywild? Uh, I'm gonna do a little... Can you, can you specify that with your... with your bag? Uh, do I we even want to go? I have an idea. Um, actually, it's a little metagaming, so I guess I'm just gonna ask Diana if I know what kind of spells Zizalzoria has. Uh... Probably not, not the okay. newer ones. I don't know if we would have time to gossip about stuff like that. What spell are you referring to? <laughs> Unseen Servant. So you can... Oh, I, yeah, I have, no, I have no idea. Oh! I've used it before. Yeah, If you've used true. it before, then yes, you would know about yeah, it. Yeah, I've used it before in front of you guys. Okay, cool. Uh, so I've heard be like, Hey, what if you just get one of your guys to go in there and test it? I mean... I... I... I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm, I'm just so sorry. And she's gonna it's just not, like, not, your, sort of, it's like not your fault. run and sit over here. And like... <laughs> oh, Ethan, can I be reloaded again? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking... What? Just... <laughs> 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 All right, Arjun's gonna walk over and put his hand on her shoulder and just say, it's all right, it's not your fault. We didn't know what was gonna happen. Yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, it doesn't seem like I can use Unseen Servant that way. Unfortunately. Well, lovely Melody pats Arzun's hand as she's sitting on his head, on her head. How does Unseen Servant oh! work exactly? <laughs> I have another idea, but I don't, it's meta too. Um, so it just says that I create an invisible, mindless, shapeless medium force that performs like simple tasks at my command. And that it disappears when it's more than 60 feet away from me. Theoretically, it could go through the through a portal. That's all. If the DM <laughs> will allow it. There's no uh, portal. It just says the server, the servant springs into existence in an unoccupied space on the ground within range. Mm -hmm. And then it gives me like all these uh, like stats on it, like AC 10 and stuff um, on uh, once on each of your turns as a bonus action, you can mentally command the servant to move up to 15 feet and interact with an object. So I can't really use it to see anything is my problem. Right, yeah. So I don't think it would be useful in this okay. way. Grog falls to his knees and he's like, why do friends keep disappearing? Actually, I'm just going to... Honestly, if only you had that mirror, maybe we could do something with it. I can't believe I'm saying this right now. Um, can I... Uh, what's my passive perception? Did I hear that? Well, I was saying it out loud. Like, I wasn't trying to... Oh, you it. were saying yeah. that, like, basically Yeah, yeah. I was her. saying it, yeah, to, to like everyone, that. just like, ugh. Because you're know. asking me about the Unseen Servant, and so I'm just kind of saying, projecting everything that I'm thinking. Yeah, but I feel like I'm sort of in a panic right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fair. Um, 
Can I notice that you panic? Can Can I roll? Clips is sapphire. I mean, I guess I, I guess I would calm down. Okay, so I guess I could hear. Um, uh, Sapphire, when Zoria says that, Sapphire is gonna sort of like clutch her bag and like look away from our zoom. <laughs> oh, uh, you're muted, by the way. Sorry, can you repeat that dogs were barking? I am so sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, when Sapphire hears uh, Zazoria say something about the mirror, she, uh, you see, uh, uh, you see Sapphire like clutch her like her bag like a little closer to her and like look away and sort of like scratch her head like oh yeah what mirror <laughs> alright then she's just gonna softly and gently say Sapphire and uh, he's gonna whisper did you steal the <laughs> she looks down like nervously you, you can't really steal something that was yours right fair that's fair <laughs> you got Elbert's there nodding like mm. <laughs> so dumb <laughs> look I'm, I'm not judging you I know how much that mirror means to you but then maybe we can use it to get our friends back yeah, I... I'm gonna. While they're doing that, I'm gonna see if I can throw a rock into that thing. Okay, you pick up a rock. Can I find a rock? Okay, yeah, you find a rock. You throw it and into the rip. It hits and bounces off. A green so it doesn't go in. Comes okay. From it. Yep. So theoretically, if I did take the mirror, what would we do? I don't know. We only got into the astral plane. I don't know if we could tell it where to go. I'm I'm just spitballing here. I have no idea what we should be doing. I have an on at this Can point. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but even then, if we wanted to jump in, it doesn't look like we can. I just threw this rock and it just bounced back off. Can you remind me how lovely Melody came into our world? Um, she came out of the mirror just by herself. I wanted to bring her out earlier, but I mean, she kind of just came out by herself. Lovely. Do you know how you came this way? I honestly, uh, I think it's beside the point right now. I, I don't know if you're gonna say something, Ethan. Uh, she's gonna be like, yeah, do you know, like me and Sapphire are really good, good friends. And then we, you know, she said I could come out, and then, and then you'll never believe it. Some, some big-looking guy with like a green suit on came in and said, "Hey, I need you to come participate in my TV show." And he grabbed me and he took me, and it was crazy. Oh. Um. Oh. I'm really nervous. I I don't really know where they are. Loki? Man in oh, a suit? Yeah, that was his name. I remember. You guys like ripped him in half or something. Oh no, I remember that. Wait. Oh, Evanon had some of him. Yeah, the Evanon's in there. So then, maybe they Is can there... call on him to help. How did that message thing work that you just did with Elberge? Uh, I just pointed in the general direction that I thought he was, mm -hmm. and I sent a message. I sent. Oh, that a spell you have or something? Yeah, and he's able to reply to me. Okay, and it's not, it's a spell spell. It's not a cantrip or anything. Uh oh, oh, spell. Hmm. Well, I mean, I could try doing that with Evanon. See if he can summon Loki. Is that something we want, though? What if I just... What if I just say to put the soul back? Where would it put it back, though? I don't know. Just, like, everyone stand back. And maybe it'll just open the portal again, because it needs to return to the person's soul, right? I only have half of it. Hmm. 
You have half of it? Well, I mean, it still looked alive when it was sucked in, and I don't know, it just looked different than ever. Ask the keeper if it really was just half. Uh, okay. Um, she's gonna, like, to herself, like, <clears throat> grab the bag from her satchel or yeah. paint and ask, like, uh, how many souls do you have? <laughs> I have three souls from the Feywild that are dead. I have two living souls from this eternity, and I have half a living soul from the Feywild. Yeah, yeah, uh, oh, yeah, it, it only has half of it. So what if I just ask to return it half to its owner, and it brings him back? Can I think it'll work, I think it it'll work. Do that? I don't know, I mean, Usually this bag will do what I tell it to do as she like swings it. <laughs> <laughs> At this point. What the heck? Um, maybe we should all stand back though. Alright. Then he gives out a huge sigh as Whoa. he just goes Wait. back. Wait, I have one more idea before we do that. I wanna pull out my book. And I want to, like, see if I could flip through or be like, and do you have anything on the Feywild? Like, if it just says anything. Yup, 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 We sure can. <laughs> so Loki, you are you? looking. Thank you, Loki. <laughs> you are looking for something on the Feywild. Lucky for wow. you, as you flip through the pages, something catches your eye. Remember that page you read all those long days ago about the Feywild symbol? Well, things mm -hmm. are starting to slot into place here, as you can see. Yes, the Feywild magic is known to many as the dimension of souls. The way to access it is to use souls, many souls, to get to the Feywild. But to come back, take special kind of souls that no one's ever found. Uh, no, Anyone who's ever allegedly gone to the Feywild has never come back. Uh... But it just says we need many souls, right? It just says it just says it's almost like the dimension of souls. Hmm. Is what they used to call it. So if they're calling the Feywild the dimension of souls. Do you, do you know if you had more souls now than you did last time that we tried to get there? Oh I have like so many less souls than last time. Last time I didn't even know how many there were. We were passing by people. We passed by like almost hundreds of people that I've collected the souls from. And it took them all. But uh, another question. The keeper Aren't speaks to your All report. of the siblings. Dead souls. You have living souls. Hmm. Yeah, I used like a bunch of those dead people's souls. That we're collecting along the way. Mm. But, yeah, I don't know. I do have, I don't know, the souls of those gross guys. And, uh, the souls of those other guys. And I have that soul, but... I don't know. I mean, these souls are different, right? They They look different when they get sucked out. It's true. It's just that it's really dangerous. This this says that people who have gone to the Feywild don't come back because the soul that you need is different than the souls that you use to get in. Does it specify what kind of difference? It just says no one's tried to get it or no one's ever been successful at finding this soul. So no. Hmm. Hold on. Aren't... All of your sixes somehow connected? Can't they locate each other, talk to each other? That's genius. Can they, DM? <laughs> you railed everything. I love, I love Ethan's face. <laughs> <laughs> we keep bringing up things and he's like, fuck. <laughs> Can they talk to each other right now? They cannot talk to the ones in the Feywild, but they do glow <sighs> brighter and closer to that rip. So, I'm assuming since I have my book out, we can see that mine is visibly more yeah. brighter than, than D's. Mm -hmm. um, so I 
don't think okay i i think we're taking a long time who knows what they're going through right now so i think either we jump in option one or i ask the keeper to give the soul back option two or three we could just forget these guys ever existed and walk away i thought the third one just kidding <laughs> no <laughs> Arzun is gonna pretend he didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> she she said it she said it jokingly. You know, I'm we not. Them, you know we you know <laughs> never knew them. <laughs> I honestly think the first one is the best option. I'm biting my tongue, but let's do it. All right, do it, Sapphire. Is anyone Wait, opposed that doesn't want to come with us? Dusty, Grog, Tontor? You guys are insane if you think I'm gonna jump in another portal with you. We almost died the last time. It took a I literal god for us to get to safety. But I mean, we didn't die. You guys will be back, right? It's just, you're gonna jump in, grab them and jump out. Right? <sighs> if we can, that's Then, oh. I mean, the goal. You, don't, you, you don't need me. I mean, I could try. Maybe yeah. it is quick. I, I believe in Sapphire. I know you can do it. And if we can't get you back, how are we going to try to get in? You're the one with the souls. I mean, <laughs> then you take souls. Well, all right. Well, I can stay on this side while you guys go through. And, you know, if you guys don't come back in like, I don't know, a day or something, I'll find a way to get you out. I'm sure I could figure something out. Awesome. Tontor? Thanks, Dusty. Grog. It seems the little one may not be of the intelligence to do what <laughs> he has set out to do, but I am. I will wait here on this end and retrieve you if you do not come back within a day. Hopefully. Grog, no leave friend behind. And he steps forward towards the crack. Oh, shit! <laughs> he already went in! No, well, he it's didn't. not open yet. He's just standing by it. Oh, oh my gosh. Grog's like, bye, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, Bill, okay. says meow and jump kicks towards it. I'm Actually, just... <laughs> what Sapphire's going to do is she rummages through her, her, her bag. Okay. And she pulls out a little vial. Uh-huh. And it's the vial of luck. And yep. she's gonna just be like, you know what? I don't think this is it. To herself, she's like, I don't know if this is like, an, there's not another better opportunity to use in this moment. Okay. She's like, okay, if we're jumping in, let's go. All right. And, and she'll, I guess, uh, I don't know. Maybe she finds like a desert. She'll, I mean, I guess she'll use the other cap and like kind of like give it to to her little her. So oh, she like a little bit the, of the yeah, yeah okay. like, stuff along the the potion, I guess. Okay. All right. Um, can I make like a check whether I know it's like for one person or maybe everybody can have a drink? You can do an Arcana check to see. <clears throat> She got a 10? It, it's it's hard to know. Just judging from the size of the bottle, it could be only for one person. Okay. But you don't know if its effects can be spread to others. Yeah, okay. She's just gonna keep it keep it quiet. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> she gonna yeah. drink it? She gonna Yeah, yeah, she'll she'll All drink right. it when they walk Boom, in. she she puts it back. Alright. Uh Zazoria or Zoom? Arzun is going to step in as well. Okay. Yeah, she's, before everybody steps yeah. in, she's like, uh, wait, can we like step in together or no? Uh, so the or portal isn't open like... yet. You guys are just stepping near it. Oh. So I have to let out a soul? You sure do? Yep. 
hey, hang on. And Urshan's going to look up at Dusty. And he's going to say, you're right, Dusty. We don't need you, but thanks for your help anyway. Dusty's going to stare, unsure of how to respond to this. He just kind of nods his head and turns away. Tontor, make sure he doesn't get into any more tr- trouble, please. <laughs> uh, you you can count on me, Arzun. One day you will be the keeper of those waters. Actually, Sapphire's gonna run over and give Dusty the other wisdom waters and be like, whenever you feel that you need some clarity, just drink this. Okay. And she's and gonna just... Dusty just holds the waters and tilts his head. Okay, and he unscrews it and drinks it. <laughs> and he walks away. Yeah. And then, okay. out of sight from everyone, he is teleported to his trial. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I am <laughs> Can you roll a luck point to see if she does this game? <laughs> Dude, if he passes his trials of wisdom and I didn't, I'm a piss. He comes out as a better person. I know, dude. He's like the best person ever. <laughs> all right. I'm ready. I'm ready. Trevor's so like, all right. Uh, let out the half soul, please. All right. And thus the keeper releases the half soul looking broken as some orange energy releases from the keeper as well, mending with it. And it goes towards the crack and the crack. And then it opens up and everybody, you all are sucked in without even given a chance to think. And so, we go here. Back. Oh, no. Okay, and uh, can't see the map yet. Okay, okay. All right. Um, I can see it now. This is what we were trying to avoid, and here we are again. <laughs> yeah. I think I think Ethan I wants us to be here. I told you guys. All right, I am grabbing music real quick. I don't. I had music, and I literally got rid of it because I said, "Well, we don't have to worry about that anymore." And then here we are. I think subconsciousness is what you wanted. I re- I'm so mad because I really want to keep going. We are going to keep going. We're not at oh. time yet. I thought it was okay. It's because we started late. Yeah. Oh, we did. Start- We're like 15 more minutes, right? Yeah, about 15. All right. So I'm just going to play this music right now as you all land here. They do, not us, right? Correct. They land. Am I awake? No, you uh, are. Unconscious. Immediately continue. Uh, yeah, continue. The moment we land, look up. Still raged. Begin and try your to... rage. Nope, nope. Ooh. Your rage is gone. Nope. The second you get gone? here, the some some sparkle in the air is fluttering around everybody. Your rage. Hmm. You can't even try to go back into rage, even if, no matter how hard you tried. <laughs> My lord! Oh! Okay, so... Oh. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, are we still in danger? Are we being attacked by this... I... Oh, I, 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 I pin him to the ground. I run oh. up to him and pin him to the ground. Alright, <laughs> you you go for the pin. Uh, Strength check. Yep. Oh, I messed up. Uh, hello? Can I get the ability check? No. Oh, can... I guess I'm not the owner of my character all of a sudden? Uh, no worries, no worries. I will give you the ownership of the character. Uh, oh yeah, you're in the wild, you don't control yourself. I go for it. <laughs> there I go. A 16. 16, okay. And what did it roll? A 6? Alright, boom, you pin it down. As it screams in your face. It's, you see little teeth on each layer of, like, its head snapping at you. Are there more of you? And then uh, it, it I... stops and it tilts its head. It stops squirming. And then it looks up to the sky and it screeches. You know, like it releases a gut wrenching yell. 
and you can feel yourself get moved almost by how loud it was. Not sure what this battle cry meant. I look up at where he's looking. He just looked to the sky, but the trees are now moving away I, from you because of how loud the scream was. Um, and it I, shove to my, I, sho- I shove my blade down his throat. <laughs> okay. Uh, go ahead and uh, roll your mockery just for the damage it's going to do. Roll a natural 20. Oh, well, with a natural 20, baby. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's see. That's 14, and you are in the Feywild, sir. All right, boom, 16 damage. And it, it, you know, it's alive? like, yeah, it's still squirming, and it's I like biting, the... and it's For starting to second... chip away at the mar- mockery. For the second attack, I twist the blade. Go for it again. I got eight, a 15. Eight damage. Uh, no, it doesn't matter what you rolled there. You're still going to hit it because it's in its right. fucking mouth. Okay. Uh, and I'm like, run over. Oh, like, can we silence this thing? I'm gonna run over and do uh, flurry blows. Flurry blow, go for it. All right, and you hit it twice for 14 damage. As it dies, as you punch it to fucking to death, you beat the <laughs> shit out of it. <laughs> its face is caved in. Can I try and wake up? Uh, yes, constitution saving throw. Okay. I try to wake up. <laughs> 13? You lucky bastard. Alright, you're awake. Can you roll me back? Uh, it's control alt and then s- scroll wheel if you want to do it in the no. future. There oh, you go. Cool, thank you. I just start inching walking over there. I sit on the floor, I grab my emblem and I start praying, but it's a prayer of healing and we all heal. Uh, all right, you say your prayer, nothing happens. No, I'm healing. Oh, wait. You say your prayer, even nothing if, happens. Even if it's prayer of healing? Yep. He's, yeah. We have to, we have to move. I, that, that thing must have attracted others. They're, they have to be on their way here. We have to get, we have to hide somewhere. Can we do a perception check and see, like, if there's any structures, anything nearby that we, any points of interest? With your passive perception, you do see this gigantic rock here. <laughs> oh, are you screaming? Yeah. With my stone cunning, uh, I mean, it's Fey Wildstone, so I, I don't know if it would work here, but yes, is sir. this like part of a building, a bigger building? Is this an entrance? No, it seems to have something etched on it, a language you don't speak. You would assume. Mm-hmm. All right. Here, my lord, have this. And Chonk pulls out a big healing potion and he shoves it down Evanon's throat, healing him for 50 health. <coughs> Thank you, Chonk. Uh, which should put you back at full health, I believe. Yeah. So you're at full health. Fuck. Do, do I know what this, this rock says? Nope. Hmm. Fuck. This was last year. I had Okay. Been... Okay. Okay. This is fine. I went home and the bastard placed mm-hmm. this in the fridge. Mm-hmm. Uh, Are you still trying to find cover? Did you just want to hide behind? I don't. I don't. I don't know. 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 <sighs> okay. We're okay. Everything's fine. If none's awake, I was about to clap on your face. Clap my cheeks on your face if you didn't wake up soon, boy. Thank where you. Are Do any of us have any idea where we are? Uh, would we know that we're in the Feywild? Or any indication of that? I mean, I guess... Uh, you went I through green the green portal. I saw the Feywild in the vision, didn't I? You sure did, actually. Yes, this is very familiar. The way the humongous trees, the general glow of it, the magical feeling. We're in the Feywild. This is... Your sword, by the way, is still stuck in its mouth. <clears throat> is it? Yeah. Oh, wait. I, I, if I try to recall it, it doesn't come back to me? Didn't this time. I'll walk up to it and pick it up. All right. You this is the Feywild. When I had the vision back in 
the forest that by the witch you weren't here for that but i had a vision that there were these creatures running away from these horse riding dark beings as part of the wild hunt this looks like i don't know if this is the same forest but this is definitely the same dimension it doesn't look like our spells work here we're it's seriously in trouble past. in the past I don't know. This is just a different dimension. I don't know. I think, I don't know. I probably. Can I investigate the rock in front of me for levers, switches, anything? Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and investigate it to an investigation check. Mr. DM. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, you, uh, just cast a cantrip to see if it can even cast magic here. Which cantrip? Light. You cast light and you get very dim light. <clears throat> I got a 14. Uh, power is weak here. Elbridge, as you look through this, uh, no buttons, no levers, nothing you can tell, but the lining, as you run your hand through the lining of what's etched in it's you know you remember those rocks right remember when you split them open how they have that it feels mm -hmm. identical it's almost like they carve in a very specific way here i can't i can't make sense of any of the magic stuff but this is really similar to this, the rocks that we had bumped into in that other feywild portal this might be another one well this probably is another one since we landed here but how do we activate it? Will our, will our dark suits do anything? If I, since I couldn't, I'll, I'll check with the dark six and try to speak to it. Are you with me? No response. I, I take out my, my staff, mm -hmm. try to see if anything happens. It glows for half a second and then the glow fades. We're in real big trouble, guys. We're in real pretty, big trouble. We're pretty vulnerable out here. What should we do? Where should we hide? And we as the wind blows, you hear the trees rustle. Unsure if it's the wind or something else. We can pick a direction and walk. Or we can sit <clears> here. <throat> wait to see if anybody else, if our friends manage their way here. But either way, we are most likely going to die. It's always the negative shit with you, man. <laughs> okay. L listen, listen, listen. We have a perfectly fine carcass over there. We can all shove each other in if we need to hide anywhere. <laughs> I guess we are in a dimension far, far away. That would work. What if the carcass over there becomes our food for the next however long we're here? Can, didn't you just cast like 40 pounds worth of food? You're right, and it did teleport with y'all. There's food. Oh, shit. Okay, we got more food, I guess. <laughs> okay, I have, a, I have an idea. Let's take this food, keep some with you. We can use this as distraction, as bait. If ever we get ambushed by more of those creatures, we can maybe use this food to manage and escape. Uh, didn't work. They barely paid any attention to it. Well, that's because you were bloody to all hell. <clears throat> you think that if none of us are, we'll be fine? They didn't seem very interested in you until then. Makes sense. Yeah, they were about to attack an egg before you. Uh, I think because it was raw. A big shadow comes over you all as something just flaps its wings ginormous in the sky and it passes over you just flying along you notice three different light sources don't know if they're suns and at least four what look like moons in different spots in the sky um do i have a compass a compass yeah uh did you take the no what your profession yes you have a comp uh, compass let me see in my equipment real quick just to make sure i have uh okay uh, i have a compass does it work here 
Uh, it you take it out, and it goes in circles. Damn it. <sighs> okay. Um, I don't like sitting here, I'll be honest. I think we should move. <clears throat> yeah, how about we get some of this food and head out? Okay. Let's pack up. What direction? Yes, my lord. Um, Chunk is visibly scared as his confidence and bravado from way earlier is completely changed back to his normal fear as he hides behind okay, the Chunk? Yes, 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 of course, my lord. Just, hey, it's good okay. Old, good I, old run I, of the I, mill. Pay, pay well. I put my hand on his shoulder and I just, I just say, it's going to be okay. We'll be fine. Hmm. Okay. Um, Start back. Let's forward. pick a direction. Uh, I'll, I'll roll a 1d4 to see if we go up, down, left, or right. Okay. Or we could do a... We could walk a little bit to see if we see anything. Actually, you know what? Uh, how tall are these trees? They are, I want to say, about 100 feet tall. Um, Hold up. I want to show you the 1, 2, 3, 4 you just made. Okay. That's your direction. Before, before I decide. Do you... I don't, can you climb trees? You're a monk. That's what they do, right? Huh. Can you get an, uh, like up high on a vantage point and see if we can find anything, a place to go? How, how are my athletics, Dean? Uh, how are your athletics? Heck, yeah, good. you're a fighter. Um, they're and pretty good. In terms of climbing trees, you're, you're very skilled at climbing and rummaging for mushrooms. You have some mm -hmm. experience. You would have advantage on trying to climb a tree. <clears throat> I think you also have slow fall, don't you, as a monk? I do. So, like, it's pretty safe. So, you want me to climb climb some trees? Yeah, just climb a tree. See what see what's out there. See if there's anything anywhere we can go. Okay. Uh, I come up to this tree okay. to the to the left, and I. Just start almost like a monkey. I'm just like All trying right. to climb up. Just to... you get about a quarter of the way up. Athletics check. I'm sitting down here to try and catch him if he falls. Is that skill? Uh, yes, that is a skill check. <clears throat> the wind blows again, rustles and leaves. Okay, so you begin to slip and fall, but. You roll, roll again. You have a you have advantage. He rolled a ten. Yeah, he rolled a ten. Yeah. He has a plus five on athletics. athletics. Yeah, insane. Let's go. Oh. He rolled an eleven. And he comes tumbling down. Uh, I I so try. Gracefully. Yeah, huh? gracefully falling. Gracefully. <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry, bro. Ass too fat, honestly. Um, I kind of want to try. I'm not gonna lie. Could I instead of I guess athletics is strength, but I want to just fuck go for it. I want to. I want to go for it. I want to give it a shot. Okay. Skill athletics. check. Yep. Athletics, because I have a pretty. You high have day. to do your athletics roll from the very start. You don't get to get to a certain point. I got a twelve. How? No, no, no. Okay. Uh, just an FYI, if those who are in this scene are cool with staying a little later, the rest of yeah. you can leave if you want. Uh, we probably won't get to you, or you can stay if you'd like. Uh, or how, yeah, I'm okay to stay. Mm -hmm. Longer. Okay, like a few minutes. Yeah, yeah, no, how I'm long? not asking like oh. hours. I'm asking like 15, just because I saw that we were at time, like 15 minutes more. How would it work with the cameras, though? Uh, if we all turned on, <laughs> or if three of us just turned on that stream thing, we would be able to fill in the slots. Does it work that way? Yeah, yeah. if you guys just each stream a random screen, then it'll fill in the rest of the slots. <clears throat> I mean, just leave the cameras on at that point. Just cover. Yeah, them. I'll just take my camera off. If that's okay. Just cover yeah. the camera, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I can do this. Just cover the camera, just like... Mm -hmm. Okay, continue. Okay. You want me to try to climb? No, 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 no. You're, you're fine. You're fine. I, sorry, I just don't. 
I just don't think he'd be able to make it up there if I can. And if definitely if he can. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess we're just going to pick a direction and go, or do you, do you think we should stay? No, we should definitely, we should definitely head out. We saw that thing hovering over us. And... I agree. I rolled a one roll. What, what direction is that? North? That's north, yeah. Okay. This will well, be your perceived head. north. Yeah, I assumed. Let's get going. Uh, DM. Yeah. As I collect food and stuff for our trip, I also want to take a chunk out of this stupid Feywild fucker. Mm-hmm. Alright, and... do you want to take like a tentacle or how? what do you want to take? I'm going to take a tentacle. Actually, can I take its head? Yep. Okay, I'm going to do that. Alright, so you grip its head and you rip it off. And as you do so, the vocal cords li- release one last deafening scream. <laughs> Absolutely way louder than the last one. As it pierces your ears, you ha- you, cl- you put your hands over them, but it's still piercing through as the trees around shake and shake and shake. And the ground <laughs> begins to shake as something heard this. I want to go ahead and uh, uh, quickly take a second to that. I'm just going to uh, cut one piece of like the armor or of a tentacle and pour some uh, of the blood into my water kin. Okay, you do that. Cool, now I have that. All right, let's book it. We Yeah, we take off running. All right. Ooh, I and... have 30. I have a 35 feet of movement per round. What's everybody uh-huh. else's? 30. Okay, so then 60 is our is our absolute max per round of running. And uh, as you guys are running away, you're not in a round, so you guys are free to just run. Out of the corner of your eye, as you look back, you do see this thing appearing from the very far left end of the map. Oh, that's what was flying earlier. Go, 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 go. We, I, I fucking, you know. All right, yeah, yeah. All right, and as you guys enter the trees, you just hear as it approaches the dead body of the abolith. It cries out. Oh, no. I wish I could hear that. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. Like that, no, I guess. It's <laughs> fine. I'm sure. Wait, I'm sure yeah. it's great. I'm sure it's a great dinosaur Listen to sound. the stream. You'll hear it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah. It cries out, and what sounds like almost agony and mourning as you guys run off. And this heads off in this direction. Okay. And uh, before I take you to your new map, uh, you guys are about to be traveling for a couple hours now. I assume so. Mm -hmm. So you guys are traveling for some hours. Do you guys stop to do anything at all in these hours of traveling? Right now, it's all just these humongous trees. What's up? Will there any, be anything considered a short rest? Uh, you would have to stop and rest if you want to yeah, have no. a short oh, okay. rest. Okay. But yeah. I don't have anything in particular that I want to do. You're still in the forest. Anybody have anything particular you want to do in this forest? No. Don't no, touch anything. Fine. We don't know. Uh, any yeah, of no, I'm, I'm fine. Okay. So then as you exit the forest and you come to more rocky, barren lands, you appear... It's been, I want to say, yeah, it's been about eight hours now of traveling. You guys are exhausted. But you constantly heard that for the first at least four to five hours. And in the last two hours, you haven't heard this, the thudding of the walk as you appear here. Oh, wow. Holy and here, shit. Mo, suddenly in your ear, coming in very quickly, you hear, Elbert, please tell me you're okay. Where are you? To which I respond, Oh my god, are you guys okay? It's been forever. <gasps> you hear no response. What was that? What, 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 were, you, what were you saying? Sorry, uh, uh, Sapphire just sent... I just got a message in my head. I think it was Sapphire. She was asking if we were okay. But that's like... Eight hours to check on us? That seems weird. Eight hours? Okay, mm-hmm. you know what? 
Uh, I, I'll just try sending something back. Okay. Uh, so I just some realized weird I, like time shit. <laughs> I have no idea where they are. Well, I know where they are, but I don't know where we are right now. I don't. I I'm gonna take a wild guess. Uh -huh. And I go ahead and uh, try. Wait, wait. What? Is this gonna is this, is this gonna take up your power like to fight? Uh, it will take up a, one of my spell slots. I don't. None of the magic. It is getting nighttime, by the way. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, then I guess it would be safe. No, if it's oh. nighttime, we're gonna rest. But I just want you to know that it might not. It's probably not gonna work because none of the spells we've used so far have gotten made their way. Yeah. Give it a sense. shot if you want, but we're we're resting tonight. It probably yeah, inside we're... that skull. If we're resting, that he takes a pause and he's gonna just slowly go and see if something's inside that skull. Yeah, okay. I'll walk with him. Do I see anything? Careful, my lord. Yeah, Jesus Christ, dude. Holy shit. You're squishing. Uh, as you can see from this, you're walking in green water. Oh, is it green water? Okay. Yeah, green water. Oh. Psh, 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 very shallow. Psh. You look in there. Inside? There are spider webs. Something familiar. Spider webs, uh. moss, mushrooms. <clears throat> I'm These not mushrooms. sleeping in here. These mushrooms glow a little bit, but other than that, no bones, no nothing like that. It's just some cobwebs, dude. It's no big deal. It's just part I'm of gonna, nature. I'm going to go ahead and cantrip the light. Even if it's dim, I want to throw it in there, see if I see anything. Okay. You send your dim light in there. It lights it up. Mm, nothing you can see other than what seems to be a very old, um, medium-sized footprint. Uh, it has, it's kind of like feet like this. Like feet, like uh, it has like three big toes that kind of dig into the ground at the ends, but only one foot. You didn't see more than one foot step. Does the light reach the back of the skull? Like, are we able to see the entirety of this place? Yep. There's not a lot of places to hide in here, you know. So if there's something in here, it would have come out already. Uh, as I say that, can I make an investigation check? You sure can. Anybody else can help me with this investigation to so I can I'll advance. help. I'll assist. He has advantage. Okay. First one was a 14. Second was an, an 11. Na natural. Okay. Uh, as you look around, um, like I said, no bones, nothing that shows anything's been eating in here. Uh, nothing that shows anything's been sleeping in here either. Uh, simply that old footprint. Uh, you, like I said, you find some stones, some rocks, some some mushrooms. Uh, the water in the water itself, um, you see, like little, little little eggs in there, little tiny little eggs. eggs. Yeah, little tiny eggs, very like almost stuck into like the mud. What do you see? Well, no, nothing's been sleeping here. Nothing's been living here. There are like little tadpole eggs down there, but. I don't really think it's going to be an issue. This place is just wild. I've slept in much worse places than this, I can tell you that. <laughs> Does this, uh, do these footprints look anything familiar? Honestly, if I were to guess, they're probably that giant bird thing. So you're trying to sleep in the giant bird's nest? It, look, no, 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 look, look, look. I mean, it looks pretty tiny to me. Oh, it's small? Sorry. Yeah, it's about... It's, oh. yeah, I'm pretty sure I could fit my foot on it. And as he does, i would be like, wait, 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 but look, like, it's old. And I'll point out some details that could possibly signify that it's yeah. old. Like, it's been... This isn't a new footprint. No one's been... No one's living here. I'm pretty sure we're fine here. The beads being out there and being spotted by whatever the fuck that thing was. You know what? Please. You are right. Go ahead. Uh, I'm... <laughs> I think the scenery is just foreshadowing for us. I mean, the whole ass rock looks like a fucking skull, guys. Please. You, you really don't want to go in there? I mean, if you guys want to, I guess I'll stick around, but there, it's just here, 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 here. red flag possible. We'll, Eggs, we'll take turns. We'll take turns. We'll take turns. Keep, stay up. So we'll take turns watching the night. If anything happens, we can wake each other up. I'll do you one better. You hear once again, very far out. I turned inside, off Chris, so I hope you guys heard that. I'm, I'm going to do one last thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, this rock? Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to go ahead and touch it, and I'm going to class clairvoyance. So it's like a little survey camera. Okay. Oh, interesting. Let me and see. just uh, what Seems I to see. Cast I, fine. Seems oh. to cast fine. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So no, nothing wrong with that one. At any point I choose, I can look into that clear, like that thing, and see whatever is it catches up. Good work, my lord. I I will let you know that it has a range of one mile and a casting time of ten minutes. The duration oh. is up to ten minutes. Oh, you're right. Probably okay, so well, he's still, yeah, he's still checking it out. I think ten minutes is enough time to know whether we can stay here or not. But I go in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to move you. Patio, get inside. Just for now. Just for now. I'm listening. And then it gets farther. Do I catch anything? No, but far off, far off in where the, where the, um, what's it called? The trees were, where the tree line is. Very deep into there, you can see a couple of, couple of trees shaking. But that's it. And it's looking for us. Yeah. I guess we could spend the night here if you go. Um, I can take first watch if you want. Uh, the, well, I'll, I'll just, I'll stay with you up until my clairvoyance ends, and then I fall asleep, and then I'll take second watch. Okay. I'll take uh, third can watch, I, my lord. Uh, I will peek out if it's safe, uh, mm -hmm. and then walk up to the bush over here, use whatever, I guess, my axe or the mockery or whatever to chop up some wood and shit, right? Mm -hmm. uh, bring it back in, use my bagpipe to cast bonfire, create yep. a little campfire for us. Yep, and it does ca create the bonfire with ease. All right, and if that's all you guys want to do for the night, then that's where we'll end the session, unless you guys have anything else you want to do. Uh, are you going to have us? Go ahead. No, no go we'll, ahead, do, go the, ahead. we'll do that next session, the okay. actual night. Okay, cool. Well, then that ends our session. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I appreciate you all. For those on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. It helps us out. On the podcast, thank you for watching. I hope we're doing better at describing everything. And uh, I will be catching you guys next Sunday. So you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.